Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is A Cruel World, and with another Super Bowl coming up, I'm reminded of a question I've always had about the league. Does winning matter? Let's be real here. Regardless of how trash our teams perform, regardless of how awful the management is, the poor draft picks, and the terrible play calling, like kicking a field goal when down 8 with 2 minutes and 6 seconds left in the 4th quarter and giving the ball back to Tom Brady, our team will always be our team. Year after year, we deal with the abuse and think next year they'll figure it out. So I ask you, does winning really matter when it comes to team revenue? Are owners really even incentivized to build winning teams? The league hauled in over $15 billion in revenue in 2019, a number that typically grows each year. 2020 was a special case, with fans not being able to attend most stadiums live and fears of the season being shut down early, revenue fell to $9.5 billion. So we're going to look back at mostly 2019 numbers in this video. Of the $15 billion in revenue, there are two major categories, national revenue and local revenue. National revenue is split evenly amongst all the 32 teams and consists of TV deals, which have built-in increases over the next few years. We can definitely expect this to be a growing percentage of the revenue, merchandising and licensing, and a 40% cut of gross ticket sales. This means that teams pool a portion of the ticket sales and split it, kind of like how some places pull tips for waiters and split it evenly. Local revenues consist of the remaining 60% of the ticket sales, concessions and parking, which is split between the team and the owners of the stadiums, and corporate sponsorships with the local team. With $9.5 billion in national revenue for 2019, this splits into roughly $300 million in national revenue for each team and with the majority of teams bringing in 100 to 200 million in local revenue. This means that the median team will pull in around 150 million in local revenue and national revenue would account for about two thirds of each team's revenue. So with the bulk of the money coming from national revenue, a team gets the majority of its pay for simply existing. Let's do a review of the financials for the top five winningest teams in the league. The Patriots are the most dominant team in the past decade, and it's not even remotely close. Their 78.5% win rate is worlds apart from the next winningest teams, falling in the 60-65% to 65 range. Their local revenues are double the rest of the teams here. At $315 million, this ranks them as the number two overall team. Once you start looking at total revenue though, while it's still much higher, it only accounts for about 33% more revenue than all of the other teams here. When we look at the losingest teams in the league, whose fans are always heartbroken year after year, we see that there have only been a combined four playoff appearances between these teams in the past decade. One bright spot here though are the Browns and the Bucks. The Browns, being a laughing stock of the league for as long as we can remember, have finally seemingly figured it out. Things are looking up for them with a 10-15 and 15 regular season, their first playoff game since 2002, and a playoff win against their rival Steelers. The Bucks made off-season moves to win now, signing Brady, Gronk, Fournette, and Antonio Brown midway through the season. They're headed to the Super Bowl in a clash off of two of the most electric offenses in the league. Looking at these teams' financials, we can see that, for the most part, they are below the league median local revenue, but all hover around $400 million in total revenue, not so far off from the $450 million we see from the winningest teams. Before we draw our final conclusions and takeaways, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and I'll know to make similar videos going forward. Thank you so much. So what conclusions can we draw from this data? It looks like, in general, winning doesn't matter much. Four of the top five teams had revenues within a few million of the league median. Being such a winning team makes New England a bit of an outlier. 
with the local revenues of the other four teams here falling around 150 million to 175 million, just a hair above the league median. The conclusion we can arrive here is that winning matters when you're the champion, but not so much when you're not number one. Losing, however, seems to have more of an impact, with the bottom teams all ranking fairly low in local revenue. Overall, though, total revenue isn't far off, since, again, the bulk of the revenue comes from national revenue, which is evenly split amongst all teams. And when we look at the Dallas Cowboys, the team that's first in revenue at a whopping $950 million, we see that America's team is a middle-of-the-pack team with a 54% regular season win rate. And we see that even though the team now known as simply the Washington football team has been terrible in the 2010s, their local revenue ranks them as 7th in the league. Thanks again for watching. This has been a brief overview, but please do let me know if you'd like to see a more detailed analysis. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.